Hello guys, welcome back to basics of A6 and today's topic for discussion is what is physical design? In this video, we will understand the physical design basic concepts, its flow and the tools involved in it. So let's get started. First, what is physical design? Physical design is one of the stages in the ASIC flow. As we know that chip designing includes different type of processing step which together is called as ASIC flow. In my last video, I have discussed about the ASIC flow. So if you have not watched it yet, please watch it. I have given the link below in the description box. So coming back to physical design, physical design is a process of getting GDS2 file from the netlist or from the logical connectivity getting the physical connectivity is the physical design process or converting functionally described circuit to the physical layout or we can say that converting a design to manufacturable geometries is the physical design process so physical design process is a process of getting layout from the netlist but is it that simple no, it's not a simple nor one step process. So there are multiple processes involved in it and multiple inputs are needed for its processing. Let's look into it. So other than the red list, the inputs required for the physical design are timing libraries that is .lib file, physical libraries .lab file, technology file .tf, synopsis design constraints file that is .sdc file, and the TLU plus file. And the output from the physical design process is the final def and left of the design, design SDF that is standard delay format file, parasitics file dot spef which has RNC values and the routed netlist. And the physical design process includes flow planning, power planning, placement, CTS, routing and sign off. Together all these inputs comes under a step called design import and all these steps involved in the physical design is called as the physical design flow. Physical design flow is also known as the PNR flow, netlist to GDS flow or backend flow. So let's look into the flow in more detail. The first step in the physical designing flow is partitioning. Although partitioning is not mentioned here as part of the physical design flow because mostly it is done at the architectural phase of the design and partitioning is usually considered when we are dealing with full chip or top level design. So it is a step which divides a chip into multiple functional blocks or smaller sub blocks. Here these are the three partitions in the chip and the blue colored ones are the hard micros or the memories. So we know that a chip has a millions and billions of transistors and it is not practically possible to lay out the entire chip at the same time. So in order to reduce the complexity, partitioning is done so that these smaller sub blocks can be handled separately and can be designed individually. So next step after partitioning is flow planning or we can see that flow planning is the first and most important step in the physical design flow. It is the step which determines the quality of a chip or in very simple terms this can be understood as the term says floor planning, planning of the floor. So like how we plan the floor of a land, like where the living room should be, where the bedroom should be, where should we have our kitchen and we decide that based on their connectivity like we want the kitchen close to the bedroom or the living room. So accordingly we place them and we decide the size of each room in the house. So in the same way when we plan the floor for an SOC we decide where each component of SOC should sit that is flow planning in the physical design flow. So flow planning involves identifying the shapes and locations for the macros and which structures should place near to the others by considering their area restrictions, speed and other various constraints. For example, the macros of the same color here are talking to each other so they are placed nearby and the macros which are close to the IO port should be placed near to the port. Other than this, flow planning involves input output port pin placement, placement of the physical cells like end cap cells, well tap cells, guard rings, etc. Creation of routing blockages, placement blockages and halos creation. 
so a good floor plan can give higher performance and optimized area also can make the other stages implementation smooth and effortless whereas a bad floor plan will create all kind of issues like congestion timing routing issues in the design so it is very important that our floor plan should be good another important thing that is done at the stage of floor planning is power planning so power planning is required for uniform voltage supply to all the cells in the design for example here power grid is created using higher metal layers for vdd and vss here these pads are the main source of power supply and from these pad power goes to the rings horizontal and vertical rings and from the rings they goes to the stripes and from the stripe it goes to the rails and finally from the rails it gets supplied to the standard cell vdd and vss so it ensures that all on chip component in the design like macros standard cell will get adequate power and ground connection so that the design should have minimal ir drop or the ir drop should be within limit after flow planning the next stage in the physical design process is placement so placement is a step which determines the location of each standard cell on the die considering their timing and interconnect length as we know the standard cells are very small in size and huge in numbers in the design so placing them manually is not possible so the tool does the placement of standard cell in the design and with this tool also optimizes the design in terms of their routability the performance power area wire length timing etc after placement the next step in the physical design process is cts clock tree synthesis clock tree synthesis involves insertion of buffers and inverters which ensures that the clock is distributed uniformly to all the sequential elements in the design minimizing their skew and latency this example shows how the clock is reaching to all the elements in the design before cts here clock is reaching to the different elements at the different time from a single clock source but once the cts is done and a series of buffers and inverters are inserted it makes sure the clock signal reaches to all the elements at the same time for its skew balancing so next step after the clock tree synthesis is routing it is a step which determines the precise path of interconnects such that the length of interconnect is minimum for meeting timing and area requirement and it is a stage that completes all the connections defined in the netlist so we can say that routing is a process which converts all the logical connections to the physical connections using metals and wires after routing the next step in the physical design process is static timing analysis sta it is a step which is performed on a final routed db to ensure that the chip will meet all its timing requirement like maximum frequency of operation and it should not have any setup or hold violations so here the analysis on data path and the clock path is done to make sure that design has no timing violations and in the process of fixing these timing violations sometime an optimization of placement and routing is also performed so timing is one thing which is checked after every step from placement once the timing is closed the designing is sent for physical verification it is a process which ensures that the layer should be correct in terms of all logical physical and power checks so here multiple checks are done like lec drc lvs ERC IR drop analysis ST analysis is done to make sure the design is error free and then the sign off is performed sometimes if changes needs to be done after sign off because of some errors or issues found then ECO is performed which is engineering change order ECO is a stage where ECO file is sourced for the changes required and once the design is error free it is sent for tape out that is it will be sent to foundry for its fabrication so this is the physical design flow now these are the tools used in the physical design process or in the back end process the tools in the row 1 are from cadence for different steps involved in the back end flow second row has the tool from the synopsis the tools like caliber for physical verification and red hawk for power and ir drop analysis is the popular tool from mentor graphics and ansys 
and for PNR the popular tools are Innovus from Cadence and ICC2 from Synopsys. So that's all on physical design from my side. If you guys liked my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.